So Brad, tell me, what was it about Ambulance that made you want to produce it? So um, it's a remake, actually, of, uh, of a Danish film. And the thing that really struck me about it was, I mean, I love heist movies, right? I loved Heat and that whole, you know, just the intensity of seeing a bunch of characters getting ready to do something that you know is going to go horribly wrong is just, it's, it's just a fun genre. But there was also something about these characters, because, you know, there's these, these three characters played by Asa Gonzalez, Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, and Jake Gyllenhaal. And Jake and Yaya grew up together, so they have this bond. There's this relationship that really goes back. But Jake's character is a little manipulative. He's kind of Machiavellian. So seeing how that's going to play out, and Asa, who's a paramedic, and just gets thrust into the situation because her ambulance basically gets hijacked by these guys and they pretend like they've got a wounded cop in the back and they break through this police barricade and then before the police know what happened, they're like, oh, those were the guys that were responsible. And then it's a chase through LA, right? Yeah. So that setup and seeing that sustained and the twists and turns that the story takes was pretty wild to me. And Chris Fiedek, who wrote the script, did a wonderful job in the storytelling of just constantly, you know, surprising you. And then having Michael Bay execute that, at, you know, and doing what he does was really fun. So tell me, working with the pandemic, yeah. it, it was kind of shut down all over L.A. Yeah. Did that make it harder or easier for you? Know, you? It definitely made it harder. I mean, there, you know, the, the one advantage that you think about is like, okay, well, there's fewer people on the roads and we've got a car chase. But um, the, the challenges, I think, far outweighed the, you know, any benefit that we had from being able to kind of move around because you had, you know, the city like we shot at the LA Convention Center and we had a permit to shoot at a certain time, but then the city needed it for testing. So, you know, we had to move that around. Different neighborhoods, you know, kind of got uncomfortable with the film crew and this was at the beginning of the pandemic. So people were just, try, you know, kind of figuring things out. So it was hard, it was hard, but we did it safely. Even though LA was locked down, the film industry was like, you know, one of considered an, an essential business, mm -hmm. so we could operate and we were able to get people to work and you know and do it in a safe way. So that was also pretty gratifying, and we didn't have to shut down once. We were very rigorous about the protocols. So yeah, I, saw, I heard it was a very fast, a fast paced shoot. I can't even talk to that. It was very fast paced. Well, thank you so much. Can't wait to see it. The the trailers look phenomenal, and and. Asa looks like she's a badass in this. She's a total badass. Yeah, I yeah, know. Asa, I mean, Asa is really the heart of the movie, and she's kind of, you know, the eyes of, of the audience and of the film. Um, she carries it, and, and she does, yeah, she does a wonderful job.